Today I'm going to talk about the investment every successful person makes. It's an investment that only a few truly make. Most people don't realize the importance of that investment. But before sharing that with you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. A little warning here, these questions could shake you a little bit. So don't hesitate to pause the podcast to answer or to listen to it a couple of times so that it really sinks. Let the answers come to you. How does your life look like? Are you happy with it? What would you like to have more of and less of? Could you continue this life for the next five or ten years? Now I want you to go a little bit back in time to your teenage years. Would your teenage self be proud of the life you live? Would you tell yourself, wow, I can't wait to be a grown up to have this life? Or now, just fast forward a little bit or a little bit. And now, just fast forward. If you would be in your deathbed, looking back at today, would you have regrets or great memories? Would you think, I want to go back for a redo because I've wasted my time? Or would you be okay to leave this world knowing that you've made the best of the time you had. I'm asking this because a study among people at the end of their life showed that many had regrets not to have lived the life they truly wanted to have. Are you choosing financial security over your own happiness or the happiness of your family? And are you an and then person or a right now? So when this project is finished, then I will rest. When it's weekend, then I will have fun. When I'll have that promotion, then I will be happy. When I retire, then I will enjoy life. When I've crossed off all the items of my to-do list, then I will have peace. Well, guess what? Your to-do list will never end. And I like to say that you are not on this planet to cross off items from your to-do list, to sacrifice your life today for a future that might or might not be better. Some people are sacrificing time with their families, time with their friends, time with themselves, exercise, eating healthy, in order to answer a couple of extra emails or for another virtual meeting or to make a bit more profit for their organization. Your time is your most precious treasure as it is limited. You can always have more money, more things, more titles, but you can never win back the time you lost. So you better use your time very well and waste as little of your time as possible in sacrificing things. When your time is spent on things your teenage self or older self wouldn't be proud of, it's a sacrifice and a waste. That's why I want you to start seeing your time as your treasure. You either spend it on being happy or you see it as an investment in a better version of yourself. So what is the investment every successful people make? They invest in themselves because they know that it's the best investment they can make. You and your time are the most important asset you have. You can lose everything, your job, your house, all your money. But if you have invested in the best version of yourself, you will get it all back. And a lot of people invest in a nice house, in beautiful things, holidays, restaurants, a big car, clothes, hairdressing, nails, in being beautiful in the outside. Just look at yourself. Where do you invest time and money? Are your investments reflecting your values? 
are those investments making you a better version of yourself? Not just being beautiful on the outside, but also beautiful on the inside. When I started investing time and money in myself, that's when my life started to become more meaningful and happier. And I know that my teenage self would be really proud of what I've accomplished and how my life is lived today. And my older self too. But when I was a CEO and mother on the verge of burning out because I wanted to deliver everything that others expected from me, I had this little voice in my head. It was screaming, get out of your head, get out of your head. I was truly suffering, trying to maintain a successful life and image. And in the eyes of the outside world, I was a big success. But deep down, I was suffering. Just like many of you are currently suffering, if I see the mental health statistics. But you know what? I didn't really realize I was suffering because I simply put a lid on all my negative emotions. I had numbed myself so that I could continue delivering. And now I'm a very empathic person, so I can often feel how someone else is feeling. And a lot of people are pretending that everything is okay and pretending even to themselves. But I can sense their suffering. But we are often so afraid to let that suffering arise because what would happen then? Would my life crumble if I let myself truly feel everything? And now is not a good time, you know? There is never a good time. But I think that's what's holding us back. By preventing myself from truly feeling what I had to feel, I was overthinking things. My thoughts went in overdrive. And you know what? A lot of these thoughts were repetitive and unproductive. They weren't making me happy. They weren't making my business more successful. And they were not improving my relationships. A lot of these thoughts were negative about myself. Or I had some doom future scenarios that in fact never happened. But at some point, that suffering, whether it was unconscious or it became conscious at that point. But at some point, that suffering that was partly unconscious became too much for me. And my intuition was screaming, get out of your head. And from that suffering, I found the courage to transform and invest time and money in myself. And I see that what's happening today in the world. A lot of people are suffering. And no, it's not great when you see all this suffering. All the psychiatric system is overloaded. And of course, it's not positive. I, I really feel for all this suffering. And I have people very close to me that are suffering for the moment. But you know what? It's out of that suffering that we find the courage to really transform. And so allow yourself to suffer. Allow yourself to feel what you need to feel. Allow the people close to you to suffer. Because from this suffering, you will find the energy, the courage to really transform your life. And that's what's happening. We are now at a major shift in our society. The, the, the old model isn't working anymore. And that's why there is so much negativity and so much suffering. But out of this suffering, just like a phoenix rising from the ashes, is coming the new reality, the new world. And from my interviews with a lot of CEOs and directors and also from, from the, the people that follow me in my courses... I can really see that that future is great because it's much more human and connected to ourselves. And so, you know what? When I started investing in myself and transforming, it changed my life. And my life didn't crumble. I didn't lose my job. On the contrary, 
I found meaning in what I was doing and I brought that meaning in my work. And it's made me very successful. And this happens to me over and over again. Every time I manage to let go of the need to be successful, that's when I truly become successful. And that is how you will become successful and happy. Stop, invest time and money in yourself and you'll have an amazing transformation. And when you transform, do you know what else happens? You radiate that positive transformation on the people around you. And they are inspired to transform. And slowly, your organization that wasn't aligned with your values anymore starts transforming as well. I see companies that have a bad reputation because they were driven by money only slowly transforming from the inside because the people in that company are driving the change and are transforming themselves. And so that company that was driven by money is now becoming purpose-driven. And that is driving change in their markets. And that is how slowly, person by person, we are building a better world for everyone. But it all starts by investing time and money in yourself. But you might ask yourself the question, where should I start? What investment in myself should I make? Well, to answer this question, try to be still, to quiet your mind and to let your intuition answer that question for you. I believe the best investment in yourself is in changing your thoughts. Because your outer world will be a reflection of your inner world. If you have a busy mind, you'll have a busy life. If you have a lot of negative thoughts, you'll attract a lot of negative things. If you have a lot of happy thoughts, you'll have a happy life. Now I'm using the word thoughts, but we could also call it mindset, beliefs, interpretations. Managing your thoughts is an art and often requires an indirect approach. For instance, have you ever noticed that when you have a lot of energy, when you feel great, your thoughts are more positive? So we all have learned so many things in school, at university and in our careers. But I find that we never truly learned how we function as human beings and how do we program ourselves to be happy and successful. Change your thoughts and your life will change. So go back to the questions I asked you in the beginning of this episode. And if you like your answers, continue what you do. You're in the right path. But if you don't, stop and invest time and money in yourself. Even if it's not the best moment, because the best moment will never come. The best moment is 20 years ago and the next best moment is today. Now, I hope I have inspired you to make the most important investment in your life. And if what I say and do resonates with you, you can check my programs on keyleader.com. But the most important thing here is to find what resonates with you now. Now, I'm going to ask you one last question before we end. And maybe you can close your eyes for this question. Of course, not if you're in the car or running. Close your eyes, take a deep breath and answer these questions. If you wouldn't allow your fears to stop you, if everything was possible, if you had all the money and skills in the world, how would your life look like? What would the life be that you wouldn't want to retire from? And who would you need to be to have that life? Now, if you find the answer and you know who you need to be to have that life, become that person and that life will be there for you. Now, goodbye, my friends, and take care of yourself. <laughs>